Okay, let's listen to a little bit more of Revealing God's Treasure with Ron Wyatt. And I think I figured out the audio. Hopefully that it won't be stripped. Um, I'm just trying to share the message and pass it along. Not that anybody's paying attention to me, but it, it was stripping the audio. So if I keep the microphone on and turn down my sound system, it may let me continue to uh, play this so that everyone can hear it uh, again. And then we'll read some of the Bible. We're in chapter, we're going to finish uh, Exodus chapter 1 if we're lucky. So let's try. We'll listen to this first for a little bit and then try to read for a bit. Resting on the ground, we find an unusual layer of gypsum crystals. Underneath the crystals is a layer... Drywall today is made of gypsum. Pretty interesting. And we'll read this. Well. Wow. Okay. That's pretty awesome, huh? Thank you, Ron Wyatt. Thank you for sharing what you've discovered. I understand he he's no lo longer alive, so... I'm sure he's with... God and the Lord in heaven. And let's read a little and then pu publish to YouTube and hope the audio makes it. Tyndale version of the Bible, chapter 1 of Exodus, verses 15 through 22. For so the king of Egypt said to the midwives of Hebrews, of which one was Clepsiphora the to other Fua, and he commanded to them when ye shall do the office of midwives to Hebrew women and the time of chi childbearing shall come if it is a knave child slay ye him if it is a woman keep ye for so hath the midwives dread in God and did not by the commandment of the king of Egypt but kept knave children to which clip to him the king said which is the thing which ye wouldn't do that you would keep the children. Which answered, Hebrew women been not as women of Egypt, Egypt, for they had cunning of the craft of midwives, and children before that we come unto them. Therefore God did way to well to midwives, and the people increased and was comforted greatly, greatly. And for the midwives dread in God, he builded houses to them, Therefore Pharaoh commanded all his people and said, Whatever thing of male kind is born to Hebrews, cast ye into the flood, whatever thing of women kind keep ye. King James. And the king of Egypt spake to the Hebrew midwives, of which the name of one was Shipra, and the name of the other Pua. And he said, When ye do the office of midwife, to the Hebrew women, and see them upon the stools. If it be a son, then ye shall kill him, but if it be a daughter, then she shall live. But the midwives feared God, and did not, as the king of Egypt commanded them, but saved the men children alive. And the king of Egypt called for the midwives, and said unto them, Why have ye done this thing, and have saved the men children alive? And the midwives said unto Pharaoh, Because the Hebrew women are not as the Egyptian women, for they are lively and are delivered ere the midwives come into them, unto them. Therefore God dealt well with the midwives, and the people multiplied and waxed very mighty. And it came to pass, because the midwives feared God, that he made them houses. And Pharaoh charged all his people, saying, Every son that is born ye shall cast into the river, and every daughter ye shall save alive. So ends the reading. Thanks for listening. We'll keep reading. Next time we'll be in chapter 2 of Exodus.
See you there. Let's listen to a little more of this to close, and then we'll go forward. How about that? Wow. There he is. Everyone should listen. That's for sure. Yeah, a lot of ash. Everywhere. Holes burned into the rock. Yeah. Alright. Let's finish this one and go to the next one in a minute.